Hello everyone and welcome to this exciting new section of Angular 17. Angular got recently updated to a newer version that is Angular 17 which is also getting referred to as Angular Renaissance. This word is actually the French word which means rebirth. So it's a rebirth of Angular 17. It offers many new and powerful features that provide better user experience and better flow of code control. And not only that, the official site is also updated to a newer UI design, which now offers a coding playground where we can try and test the Angular code. Let's start by looking at what new features Angular 17 has to offer. First is the SSR, that is server side rendering feature. Now, with Angular 17, adding an SSR feature to the application is now much easier than before as it does not require any complex or additional setups to add the SSR feature to your application. We just have to specify the hyphen hyphen SSR command when creating a new app or let the Angular CLI handle that part by prompting you at the time of creating new app about having to add the SSR or SSG that is static site generation feature to the application. So adding SSR feature to the application has now become very quick and simple. The next major update is the new control flow syntaxes. That is the template syntaxes which were used for adding the control flow statements. So earlier we were writing the template control flow statements by giving the ng if, ng for or ng switch directives. But from Angular 17 we have the new control flow syntaxes where we can define the conditional statements directly as you can see. So by prefixing the directive names with the at symbol, we can directly specify the if and else conditions as well as the for loop statements. This new syntax offers better performance since it can be handled more efficiently behind the scenes. Also, these syntaxes are still in the developer preview, that is, it may change in future, but we can for sure implement them in the Angular 17 projects. We will understand more about these control flow syntaxes with live examples in this section. The next new feature is the differable views. This is just a fancy name given to lazy loading feature where we use to lazily load the modules and components inside the applications when they were required or called. The differable views does the same thing that is to lazily load the modules and components but in a much easier way. By using the add differ statement inside the template itself, we can load the components and modules lazily. Now this is just fantastic. The loading of components has never been this easy and that is seamlessly handled by the at differ statement. We will learn more about it in this section. So these are the major updates of Angular 17, but that's not it. There are many additional updates as well, like signals are more stable. So working with them is now very promising. They were introduced in Angular 16 to handle the reactive state changes more efficiently, but there were certain issues and errors which are now taken care of from Angular 17. Build performance is now increased as from Angular 17 the default application builder has been shifted to WIT and ES build to enhance the development and deployment workflow of the application. Before Angular 17 the applications were built by the Angular CLI and loaded on the browser. So these were the recent updates and releases in Angular 17. Let's now further implement these updates and see them in action.